Hey, I'm Glenn Johnson. And I'm Melissa Spino. And we're the RAIN team. Yes. Specializing in Clark County real estate. If you have any real estate needs, we'd love to help you out. But first off, you have to... Click the button and subscribe to find out everything going on in Vancouver and the greater Vancouver area. So if you're moving to Clark County or any parts of Clark County, we'd love to help you. If it's nine days or nine months or nine, 90 days, we'd love to help you with your real estate needs here in Clark County. Yes. Hey, good day, Hello. my friends. How are you? Glenn and Melissa here with EXP <laughs> Realty. We're just trying to give a little bit of education if you're not familiar with the Clark County area. It's really kind of a suburb of Portland, Oregon. Even yes. though we're in the state of Washington, which is far better to live over <laughs> here. We're big fans of Washington. Big fans of Washington. <laughs> well, big fans of the no traffic. We're big fans right. of very little traffic anyway yeah. over here on the on this side of the river. And we're just coming to you, try to give you a little education. So if you're moving within nine days or 90 days, we want to help you with your real estate needs. But first off, subscribe to our channel right there and like it also yes. because we want to keep you updated on all of our um, all of our information about our wonderful area that we have. So today we want to talk about the downtown Vancouver area. All right, let's take a look at downtown Vancouver and see what it has to offer. It's really, Vancouver spreads out a lot, but there is a downtown specific area. Yes. That is, not, to me, <laughs> might be one of the best spots in America to go to, to dinner and different things like that downtown. Um, it's, there's, uh, they, they took this old railroad yard and they turned it into uh, restaurants. Mm -hmm. What else is down there, Melissa? There's... Oh my gosh, they have a play area for kids. They've got water, water features, features mm -hmm. where people can get into the water. Uh, there's a fantastic ice cream place. It's with a milkshake. The yard mm -hmm. is what it's called. Um, they have a great pizza place, burger place, all kinds of yeah. places to eat. But lots of people are loving to live down there right now too. Yeah. There's, there's great condos down there. Some of them um, have waterfront. You can see the waterfront from mm -hmm. the condos. Beautiful condos down there. Absolutely. And, um, you know, they range from, I'm sure, 400, 500 to a couple million oh dollars down yeah. there of different prices. Yeah. There's walking trails. You can mm -hmm. walk all along the river there um, on both sides of I-5. There's yeah. CI-5 right there right. that comes up. There's walking trails that come and go underneath the interstate bridge and go across there intersects to 14 that goes all the way out to the Columbia Gorge. Yep. So good location. And then you can actually cross the bridge bridge right into Portland. You've got right. Hayden Island right here and uh, Marine Drive. And so there's a couple ways that. that you can go to the to the airport from there. You can get on Marine Drive so I'll show you. and go across. Um, so you come across the bridge there and jump on Marine Drive. And it's just a beautiful drive along there. It really is pretty. Just at the Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I got to kind of walk, go around there just mm -hmm. a little bit. I don't think it'd take you 10 minutes to get to the Portland, Oregon airport from the downtown area. I don't think so either. And there is even like on the river, there's float homes. You can live in a float home on mm -hmm. both sides of the river. Yep. There's some great golf courses just across the river in the Portland area. There's a, um, Heron Lakes has two golf courses, the green back and the blue. The, the blue, they call it uh, the blue, which is Heron. The blue heron, named after a blue heron. <laughs> and then there's a couple of private golf courses. There's um, Riverside Golf mm -hmm. Course and Columbia Edge Water right there. So there's mm -hmm. like four golf courses. And then you get Col Colwood. Colwood. And I wouldn't recommend playing there. But anyway, that's just me. I'm, I'm a golfer, so. But it's kind of, I think that's become like a nine-hole golf course, which is fine. Yeah. But there is so much to do there. There's, um, I mean, you'll see... When you're down there eating, there'll be jet skis, there'll be sailboats yeah. uh, all along the river there. Uh, couldn't couldn't recommend the Vancouver area any higher than just living in the downtown area. Esther Short Park is yeah. there. So let's see, we've got, um, let me pull down just a little bit. Yeah, so we have Esther Short Park. Officer's Row Officer's is Row. historic. Historic, yeah. It's really neat. The Ulysses Pearson S. Here. Grant was there yes. back in the Civil War, mm -hmm. and there it's a it's a it's a Civil War area era military base basically, which is now turned into I think there's some restaurants. In there, restaurants. A lot of people do weddings there. Yeah. Lots of it's mm -hmm. a great venue for. And there's a, a neat park. The uh, Fort Vancouver Park is right there on the edge of it. So, and you have the Pearson Air Museum. 
Yep. Which it, it goes right along with the officers, all the stuff on the Oh, officers yeah, row. the Museum of, of Air there. It's uh -huh. it's not huge compared to the McMinnville one, but it is. there is a lot of vintage aircraft in there. Um, let's see, right up the river there, there's also a hospital. Um, yes. Right up there. Yep. There's we a hospital. Have, let me go back out just a little bit so we can show you. You've got Peace Health Southwest Medical Center right here. So Five minutes. Very Seven close. minutes from the downtown area. Mm -hmm. I'm just estimating, obviously, but seven minutes. There's also a VA hospital right up in here. Yep. There's a VA yep. hospital right up in here. Got Clark College there. Clark and then you College. also have Washington um, State. That actually, when we were talking about another area, uh, it's Washington State is right there. Washington State University, yep. yeah. Not too far Campus. from Campus, and it's, you know, Washington State University is obviously on the other side of the state in Pullman, but they build a beautiful campus over mm -hmm. here, too, just with beautiful buildings and things like that. And, there's so much to do here. There's just so much yeah, to do. Yeah, there's a lot of our areas that are here in the downtown area that are starting to be um, gentrified and, and and just kind of turning into the destination areas. Carter area, Carter Park area, the Ho is it? How Haug. It? Haug. Haug area. Um, mm -hmm. They're both turning into areas that that are places people want to move to, but they're historic homes. It's kind of yeah, neat. They've so. taken they've taken 40s and 50s homes. Mm -hmm. And they're restoring them. You yeah. know, the neighborhoods got kind of run down for years, and now they're bringing them back to life. Some of these neighborhoods down here are just, you know, the homes with the great big front porches on them. When yeah. people used to, instead of building decks behind their house mm -hmm. to hide from everybody, they used to sit out on the front porch yeah. and talk to their neighbors. Yeah. And and that's what the Haug area is. And there's several high schools down there: Hudson's Bay High yep. School. There's Fort Vancouver High mm -hmm. School down there. And just, you're really close to almost everything there. But especially if you're condo living, I would recommend you buy something yeah. down in the down in the um, waterfront area. That's and they've just beautiful got area. condos all the way down. They do. I mean, there's just, and you're going to find a, a wide range of, of um, starter condos to multi-million dollar condos yep. all and up and down there. Right down here in this area. Can you circle this area right yep. in here? Yep, right in, Right in right here? that area. Just circle that whole area right down there. So this area, right, oh, keep going, keep Green going, yep, and then right in there, just go around and back, back okay. again. So this area historically was um, the Kaiser shipyards mm. back in World War II. Now, I still had to look this up. Every time I look this up, I still can't believe it. But Kaiser, they employed 40,000 people. That's where wow. they got Rosie the Riveter. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Rosie oh, the Riveter gosh. started yeah. down there because women back in the thing, weren't generally working, but they went in and they built ships. And listen to this statistic, it still blows my mind. At one time, the Carter Shipyard, the Kaiser Shipyards were developing one ship every day. Wow. They were putting out during the World War II effort, one ship every single day. Every time I hear that statistic, I think that and can't be true. And that's a ship, not a boat. Yeah, I'm mean, talking about <laughs> mi <warship>. mine sweepers <laughs> and wow. destroy different things. And you still can get on your boat and you can see the the, the, the berths that were in the you know the old shipyards and things like that and there's kind of an industrial area down there that um, a lot of businesses are in that area now so great spot to live Vancouver's a great spot to live downtown yeah. couldn't recommend it any higher We've got the evergreen old evergreen area down Ever, there evergreen on the, high or evergreen that. yeah the whole road that runs down there with beautiful multi-million dollar homes right on the river down there great spot to live so if you're moving within nine days or 90 days, <laughs> contact us. Phone number is in the comments there. Text us, call us. We want to set up a Zoom call with you and get a chance to know you and meet you. Have a fantastic day. Yes.